Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as promised, uh, we're gonna today we're gonna do the rear brake of the Benelli TRK 502. Uh, this is the 2122 version E4. Um, as I've said in my other videos, um, I'm not a mechanic. I've never done this before. I've just done the front brakes, and I'm getting a lot of comments of um, why have you changed the pads? Um, how much miles did I get out of them? Well, the pads are basically new. I've only done 1,200 miles on the bike. Since I've upgraded the pads and put them pads in, it has made a huge difference to the front brake. I mean a huge difference. Not just a small difference, a huge dif difference. The braking on the front brake is far, far superior with these upgraded brake pads. And I would strongly advise everybody to take out the standard manufacturer's pads and upgrade them to, to decent pads. They're just obviously very soft, them other pads. Um, I, I, I can't advise you enough. Uh, the, the new pads are, are much, much, much better, uh, regardless of how much juice you've got on the pads. Um, so today I've got the uh, rear pads. Again, I'm, I'm using uh, EBC pads. Um, so again, you can get the pads, eBay, Amazon. Obviously make sure you're getting the right one for your ve vehicle, wh whatever age it is. Um, don't be asking me about what, what size pad it is for, for your bike. That's not my responsibility. Um, and most importantly, you know, everyone's got a different age bike. So do your own research. Um, also, guys, you know, if you find my videos helpful, as I've always said, the whole point of my channel is to try and save you guys money. Uh, and I do all this at my own expense. And, you know, if you decide to do this after it's, it, it's encouraged you to do it, to save you money from going to a mechanic, and you, and you want to support me, then please do. You know, um, just go to me PayPal. You know, PayPal me forward slash ma, M-A-H-E-R, 923. That's that's my PayPal account. Any support is really great, welcome and grateful. So I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's crack on with these uh, rear brake. Okay, so by the look of it, looking at this rear brake, we have to there's this plate here, and we have to undo that bolt, that bolt, and also up here just to undo this clip. Uh, by removing that bolt and once I've done that bolt and that bolt hopefully this should just come up spin it round and hopefully it's as easy as the front brakes the front brakes I couldn't believe how easy it was to do it took me 15 minutes now garages are charging you what an hour labor I'm not a mechanic I did the front brakes in 15 minutes you know, these professionals that are doing this all day long, how long does it take them to do it? Um, and they charge you the earth for doing it as well. So, anyway, let's hope it saves you some money. Have a go at it. Honest to God, upgrading your pads, I can't stress it enough. It, it makes a huge difference to the braking. Okay, so let's crack on. So... The little one with the cable is just a four mil, just a four mil. So we'll undo that one first. That's not done. The two bigger bolts are a T40. T40.
There's one. There's two. Now this should just come off. And lo and behold, it has. Now obviously there's still a cable attached there, so be careful. Okay. So I'm just gonna bring the camera around. I'm having to be careful with this cable. I'm assuming that feeds into the ABS cable um, and show you the back of this because it's a completely different setup to the front brake so there's a plate and some springs there um, that's what it, the pads look like at the moment see there's loads of life left on them So, I've just got to figure out how to take that plate off. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to it and then show you how I've done it. All right, bye for now. Hi guys, so, yeah, half inch. And then on the inside there's, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that bolt? There. That's a 17 mil, so you just hold that with that and then undo that. So that's what I've done. And now I've loosened it off. Oh, got a bit of movement there. Look at all that dry rust coming off. Ah, there we go. And it's swung off. And that just pulls away. And there we have it. So it's a swing arm. There's no grease on it. Um, one of my subscribers asked about um, was I put any copper grease on the pads. To be fair, he has a good point. Uh, if I had any, I probably would have put them on if it, uh, um, on the front. So I've just undone that swing arm. They should just come out now. Yep, yeah, there's one. As you can see, there's loads of juice left on them pads. They've only done 1,200 miles. I just don't think they're very good. There's the second part. Just double check now that they are the right ones. Yep. And they're lining up perfectly. So, the code for the Benelli TRK rear brake pads on a 20, probably 20, but certainly mine's a 20, 20 21, 22, uh, for EBC is FA698HH. So that's FA698HH. That's the correct code for the brake pads for the rear. Right, let's get them on then. So here's my new brake pads from EBC. Um, there's the old ones. So let's get these back onto the galloper. Okay guys, um, when you take the old pads off, these covers, uh, plates are on the back of the old ones. Make sure you take the plates off and put them on your new pads. Um, so they're in now. And it's just a case of 
putting this back on the caliper and tightening everything back up. Now a little tip, make sure you push, push your caliper back in before you put this back on, otherwise you might have problems getting it on. So I've already pushed the caliper in. Let's go from there. So, as you can see, there's an arm here that just slides on there, like so, like a swing arm it is. Press it in, swing it back up. There, jobs are good. And then, the bolt back in Right, so now that that's back on, I think what I'm going to do before I start tightening this up is I'm going to put the two main bolts back in and go from there. So that's a lesson learned. Um, before you undo the lever, loosen it first before you undo the, the main bolts. And most importantly, don't forget to put your ABS cable back in. No ABS cable, no ABS. Right, there, hand tight. So I'm just going to put me 17 mil on the inside and tighten this rascal up. That's that swing arm. No, oh, it was uber tight. So, yep. And safely say that's super tight. Great, happy with that. Now back to the, the T40, tighten that up. That's nice and tight. Nice and tight. So, I'm sorry this has been a bit up and down, but as I've said, this is all new to me. I've never done it before. Right, just going to put the ABS now back in. Now before you ride it, 
I would pump the, the back brake a bit just to get the piston touching the pads. I wouldn't do the ABS too tight. That's tight enough. Yep. And then just a little four mil there. Right guys, that's it. I'm sorry about the pause and I'm getting back to you, but it's all done. Um, as you can know, I, I, I've not done this before, so it's all new to me. So, just to recap. My advice is when you do this, loosen that first before you undo the main bolt. So loosen that first. You take that off, you take that, you take that off, underneath that's your abs just an eight mil little bolt there take that off gives you more play and that cable just take that off the whole thing comes off when it all comes off it's a swing arm so you undo that bolt put a spanner on the inside and that swings off and then you can take the pads out once you take the pads out don't forget to put them back plates on that were on the back of the originals put the back plate there's little plates on these put them on the new pads and do the reverse put it all back together and it should all work so on my next ride i'll do a brake test with my new pads on and tell you what i think since i put on the, the front ones there's a phenomenal difference anyway so i hope you found this video helpful subscribe do the thing ride safe stay upright god bless look after each other